guys we are finally here i am so excited i don't know if you guys can comprehend how happy i am they finally made my favorite anime slash naruto character of all time period obito has always been my favorite out of any anime and just an anime character in general so i'm so excited i did get him earlier than red riot and goku but i was just having way too much fun posing this guy around so i didn't get into the review but i am here today so excited to jump in with you guys i'm going to show you all the accessories he brings the articulation and i'm going to compare it to all the naruto characters the only one i do not have is jiraiya unfortunately but everyone else i do so yeah let's go see go ahead and open the packaging and see what he's got <laughs> oh my god guys i am so happy i can't even hold it in so excited just looking at it right now first impressions this guy looks amazing they nailed his look from the war arc he looks so damn awesome. Not much shading, but I really don't care for that. And enough wasting time. We're just going to get a closer look at him. All right, guys. Looking at a closer look on Obito, you can see they nailed the Shotgun eye and the Renegon. They just look amazingly painted. Same thing with his awesome scars due to the rock falling on him. His hair looks awesomely sculpted. His outfit... He do have he does have the rib. This looks like parts of the Zetsu uh, piece or the Hashirama cells. You see, he has one sleeve and one without. His torso looks really really nice. This is very soft plastic, which is good because a lot of if it's rough, it hinders a lot. So I'm happy to see that. And then for the feet right here, people were saying they look too big. Um, I honestly don't really see it, but you guys free feel free to let me know. I guess I can kind of see it, but it's not really a big deal. And then, yeah, here you can just see they nailed the look. Looks amazing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what he brings. All right, guys, starting it off, he does bring a neutral face right there. This is with the normal shutting gun and the Renegon, obviously. And then he does bring two fisted hands. Next up, we do have the deranged, sadistic looking face. This is... Either when he's stealing Kakashi's Jutsu in the fight or also when he punched him and he had a scratch and it automatically healed. And then this one you can see right there, he brings the Kamui. That's the Mangekyo shutting gun for him. Looks awesome. It's awesomely sculpted. Really, really nice. And next up here we have a teeth gritted face. Looks really, really good as well. You can see these have nice updated face plates as all the Naruto figures do so far. This one does have the normal shutting gun. As you can see right there, looks awesome. And then lastly here, we do have the Fireball Jutsu uh, faceplate, kind of like Sasuke, the kid Sasuke, I believe. It looks really, really good. I like how it looks, and he does have the Mangekyo right here as well. So it's cool. He has a balance of two Mangekyo shutting guns and then two regular shutting guns, so that's awesome. Next up here, we have the Amazing Mask, as you can see right here. This is uh, on a peg as well and it does have a little hinge you can see right there so this looks amazing and awesome i really am excited this is awesome we can have two versions i almost want to get i'm gonna get two obitos like there's no doubt in my mind but yeah that looks awesome all right starting it off with the hands we do have two uh jutsu hands together uh this is, could be when he's doing a fireball jutsu or fire style sorry and then also summoning the gale statue Next up, we do have oh, two open action hands, as you can see right there. Next, you can see two pointed finger hands. It looks really, really good as well. He does usually just use one in the show, but I really like how they just threw in two, which is really nice. Next up, we do have two jutsu hands. These are separate pieces, which are awesome as well. And lastly, we do have two grabbing hands for the fan, the Uchiha fan. So Then he does bring two chakra rod summoning hands right here. He's able to use this due to having one Renegon, and he only needed one Renegon to use this, and also um, being able to use the Ghetto Statue, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, that was really cool of him using one, because he it still allowed him to have that one ability that was a threat the entire series, which is the Kamui. Um, really, really awesome. These look nicely sculpted, and I'm really glad they included two as well. Then we do have the Sage Mode. For Naruto faceplate, um, I did already put it on the figures. You can see this looks amazing. 
you can go ahead and buy yourself maybe on eBay an awesome cloak of sage mode. And there you go. You already have one transformation down, which would be really awesome. So that looks beautiful. Very, very nice detail. And then lastly, we do have the Uchiha fan, like I said. It looks really, really awesome. Pretty much the same as the event exclusive mod that I would say. Um, and then lastly, we do have the chain, which attaches um, in the fan. And then under his arm, if you guys didn't know, it goes right there, which is really, really cool. It just goes ahead, goes ahead and pegs in right there. And then you just attach it to the chain, which is awesome. Um, so he looks up about that much right there. Really, really good. He looks down... Not too much. It is hindered from the collar piece of the cloak, but it looks good nonetheless. He has really, really good rotation side to side, all around, as you can see, side. And then he does do, oh my God, even better than a T-pose. This makes me so happy. I can't believe it. They nailed this guy, man. Then uh, for the arms, he does do a full 360, as you can see right there. He has a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, it is a little hindered from the sleeve, but this one is different. You can see the bicep and then the double joint elbows right there. So it is different right there. For the butterfly joints, he he does a lot. It's really, really good. Let me go ahead and do that for you guys. Look at that. That's perfect. You couldn't want any more for him. And then around for the torso, he does move freely right here, side to side. He can crunch about forward this much, which is really, really good. That's the app crunch. And then he does go back that much. And like I said, he does side to side, so he can do cool poses like that, more or less. He does have a waist swivel. It is a little tight, but it's there. Uh, like I said, this is a soft piece, soft plastic. So this will not be hindered by him doing the splits. Go ahead and show you guys right now. You see right there. It's not pushing it down like any old Naruto figure would, or mod that off for that matter. And then I did they did uh, go ahead and put three separate pieces right here, which is really, really awesome. I like that they did that right, way more range. And then for the leg, he does go up about this much, which is good. He does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees. He is, he does have a little boot cut right here, which has a little ball peg. His foot goes down that much. His foot goes down or up that much. He does have a toe hinge. And then he does have the amazing Naruto ankle pivot. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. There you go. <laughs> That's something I love. <clears throat> something I love from these figures a lot. Which is really, really good. Alright guys, it's getting into the size comparison. Here we have the first Naruto of the Revive line with the Sage Mode face. As you can see right there. Scale well pretty good, if I say so for myself. Next up, we do have a Naruto, or not Naruto, sorry, Adult Sasuke. Oh my god, I keep saying that. Sorry, Teenager Sasuke from the Warwick as well. I do have custom blood on the Mangekyo right there, as you can see. But yeah, he looks good as well. Next up, we do have a kid Naruto right here. That scales well, I'd say. And then next up, we do have kid Sasuke. I do know he was a little too tall, but nevertheless, he looks good next to him. You see right there. Then here we do have Sakura, right there. Skills well as well. Then we do have an Orochimaru right here. Looks like they scale well, or perfectly actually. Here we have Madara, this is the event exclusive right here. So let's see if they scale well. You can see right there, that looks pretty much perfect. I do hope we get a new updated Madara one day because this one is not it. But I did just get it for the time being. And then lastly, we do have the two ultimate duo, I would say. Right there. Big uh, big rivalry and also being friends. Kakashi and Obito. You can see they look perfect. Um, I would say Kakashi obviously looks a little taller just due to the hair being a lot spikier. But yeah, they scale well. So yeah, this makes me super happy, guys. You have no idea. Finally have an Obito figure. Super happy. Uh, real quick, I did just go ahead and put the mask version. As you can see, it looks awesome. And then for the articulation on this one, he looks good up, down. Not a whole lot. It's hindered due to the mask. But nevertheless, this looks awesome. I'm so happy they included this. Well, you can't have Obito without his mask, honestly. And I really like how this is on a ball peg. 
and then a little hinge that can go kind of up and down. They didn't do it just like Naruto where it was just a hinge. So I really like that flexibility and viability. So yeah, guys, super happy. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, Final thoughts on this figure, 10 out of 10, not being biased. He brought everything he needed. The articulation is perfect. They just nailed him. He looks just like he does in the anime. I'm glad they brought his chakra rods, an extra mass piece, which they needed. His Uchiha fan. They just, he brought everything that he needed, which is awesome. And I'm super happy about it. He is probably one of my favorite figures of this year. No doubt in my mind. He is awesome, guys. I definitely recommend you get him. Um, I did get this one off of Hobby Genki. So I don't know if he sold out there, but it should be other Japan sites. Or he will be out in a month or, yeah, probably in a month or two in the U.S., but yeah, guys, I'm happy to have this guy in my collection. Finally, I have an Obito figure, and it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with him, in my opinion. He is awesome, badass looking, and just overall super, super happy. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe so I can do this more in the future, and I really hope you guys have a great day. Take care, guys.